For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God in the tearing down, the pulling down of strongholds. Let's talk about spiritual warfare for a minute. I just want to illuminate the fact that you encounter spiritual warfare um, we're going to encounter it every day. And I want this to, to be a message to someone who, if you battle um, thoughts that you know are not your own on a daily basis, which is the majority of us as believers because of our walk with Christ, I want to let you know, first and foremost, that you are not alone. <laughs> and this is a battle that we will face every day of our lives because of what um, it means to be a believer. Let me let me come a little closer. The Bible says that casting down imaginations right after that verse, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We have to cast down every time a thought that we know is not from the Holy Spirit, that is from the world, that is from the enemy. We have to cast that thought down. Do not let it stay, linger. Um, don't let it, you know, develop roots. And what I mean by roots is letting that seed of negativity or evil be planted in your spirit and let it grab a hold of you um, to, to fester, to grow. Cast it down with the word of God, right? So that means that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not fleshly. They are spiritual because God is spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm spitting a lot of uh, uh, Bible verses. I may not be naming the book, the specific book that they come from, but I'm hoping that this will bless you on this Sunday. Um, I have a spiritual warfare series that I am. Uh, it's a Bible study that I am doing um, on Zoom with a bunch of people from like Facebook and people that I know that may not even have social media so i know that the uh, enemy doesn't want this to get out because believe it or not there are a lot of people that i encounter that are struggling with their thoughts because it all starts in the mind right it's the battle of the mind and um romans 12 2 says be not conformed to the pattern of this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That way you can test and approve what is that perfect will of God for your life. I'm not going to stretch this video out, but I do want to be led by the spirit in order to let you know that you are not alone and that God is with you. We are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. Uh, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and we are more than conquerors. OK, so just believe like and trust in god trust in god right matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you there are a plethora of bible verses that help us to to defeat the enemy the book of ephesians the book of uh corinthians the book of romans the book of hebrews testing our faith uh you know there's the book of john multiple verses in the new testament as well as uh in the old testament um that help us to increase our faith and our walk with god staying in step with the spirit um <laughs> a lot of people don't even know what the nine fruits of the spirit are uh and i'd like to believe that the holy spirit is um multifaceted actually i know he's omniscient omnipresent he's always with us um so the fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, gentleness and self-control. Above such, there is no law. Uh, we have to study to show ourselves approved, right? Study to to get closer to God. Jesus said, take my yoke upon me, you and learn of me. Right. Uh, that means that that is a charge for us to to learn about Jesus. We won't get closer to him. If we don't draw near to him, the Bible says draw near to him and he will draw near to us. Uh, I'm not going to stress this out too long. I know I said that like a minute or two ago, but I'm just praying that this is helping somebody. Um, if, if this helped you, I pray that you have a blessed day. Like it, share it for somebody else, another believer um, that may be going through the same thing. I implore you to do so. Not because I made it, but I believe that the spirit of God led me to post this video. So... <laughs> Listen, the weapons of your warfare are not carnal. Um, go to the book of Ephesians, 
right? Go uh, put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day. Um, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, that is used to fight our battles, to help us fight our battles, taking every thought captive. It all starts in the mind, right? As a man thinketh, so his, is he. There's no gender in the spirit. Man, woman, child, uh, let us all draw near to God. I, I pray that this blessed you today. All right, I love you. Go with grace and peace and mercy. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean out into your own understanding. God is, I'm on fire right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, I pray that this blesses somebody. Peace. Have a good one. Love you.